Hello and welcome to part three of our C Sharp coding homework exercise where we are creating an application called Almost Chess. In the previous videos, we showed you, I showed you how to, uh, what we are going to be creating and we created a class uh, chessboard. Well, we created all the classes, but we populated it with the, all the members uh, of the class. So in this video, we're going to do the same for our pawn and move classes. So uh, let's do our pawn first. Again, I'm going to change it to public class. And first thing, I'm going to create a constant for the symbol that we are going to be using as a pawn. So I'm going to be doing public uh, constant. And it's going to be a character. And I'll call it pawn symbol and it will be an x but you can use whatever you want it could be o or could be a letter k for you know doesn't really matter at all you can change it here anytime that's why we are doing it as a constant instead of hard coding it down the, uh, in the program so uh, another one will be constant character i'll call it space and it will be in fact a space because we are going to be using you know spacing between the characters and the output so instead of just uh, you know writing empty quotes all the time uh, i name it space and it will be clear uh, it's gonna be easier to read the code that way so now i need an array and it's gonna be public static because i need access to it uh, in other classes as well because this is gonna be our pawn array so it's gonna be our character array that will hold all the pawns that we have so it's gonna be the spaces and axes because remember the, we have the pawns as x but we, the uh, the game board is also filled with spaces and they are valid character as well we can replace the axes with actual spaces when as we move them all right, so this is our our variables. Now let's uh, actually do the constructor. So we'll do public uh, pawn, and we will initialize the uh, the pawns. So our pawns array will be a new character array with the dimensions of the chessboard that dimension twice because obviously it's a two-dimensional array chessboard dot dimension now chessboard dot dimension if you go to our chessboard is the uh, constant that holds the size of the of the board and the second one actually that's all uh, i don't think we have to initialize anything we will initialize the uh, the pawns. You know, uh, at the beginning we'll have uh, 16 pawns on the top and 16 pawns on the bottom of the chessboard. But that's uh, we'll create that down the road a little later. Right now, let's do the move class, and once again, it's going to be a public one. And this one will inherit from pawns and uh, from pawn class because we are moving the pawns around so we need to have an access to the symbol of the pawn so we can move it uh, around whether it's x or the space so we can implement it into our move we will need a few variables like private integer and it's gonna be the target x and also private integer and it's gonna be target why so this will be our coordinates for the pawn that we want to move and now we need the destination where we want to move it so it's going to be private integer destination destination x private integer destination y and we can do our constructor so our move and uh, we can initialize the uh, target x equals zero target y equals zero target i'm sorry destination x equals zero 
and destination y equals zero as well. And we can also create uh, a Boolean that we will use to determine whether the user wants to exit program. Remember, when the user enters invalid coordinates, we exit the program, so we have to check against that. So I'm going to create a property of Boolean, and I'll call it exit, and it basically will be checked against throughout the program, and we will initialize it at first in our constructor to false. Like at the beginning, we do not want to exit the program. All right, so now we have uh, our classes, chessboard, move, and pawn. And uh, we have all the variables and properties that we will need. So now we can actually work on the logic of the program. So stick around. And in the next video, we will do our chessboard first. So I'll see you then. Take care.